When thinking of 2D platformers, there is one thing that shouldn't be missing. I'm talking about one-way platforms. So I set up a small demo scene with a movable player and a simple platform with a sprite renderer and a box collider 2D. As you can see, my player cannot jump through the platform. Let's add a platform effector 2D component to our platform and make sure that use one way is checked. We also have to check used by effector in our platforms collider. If we hit play now, we should be able to jump through the platform from below. The first part is done, but what's missing is the ability to jump through the platform from above. Let's add a script to our player and open it up. First of all, we need a private game object in which we can store the one-way platform we're currently standing on. And we need a serialized field to reference our player's collider. To check if our player is standing on a one-way platform, we use the onCollisionEnter2D and onCollisionExit2D methods. Inside, we then want to check if the tag of our collided object is one-way platform. We're going to add that tag later in Unity. If we collide with a one-way platform, we want to set current one-way platform to our collided object. And if we stop colliding with a one-way platform, we want to set current one-way platform to null. Next, we create a coroutine called Disable Collision. Inside, we need a Box Collider 2D in which we can store the current one-way platform's collider. We then want to use the physics2d.ignoreCollision method to ignore the collision between the player's collider and the platform's collider. Now we want to wait a certain amount of time for the player to fall through the platform. Afterwards, we call the ignoreCollision method again, but this time we have a third parameter that we set to false, which means we no longer ignore the collision. In the update method, we check if the S key or down arrow key was pressed, but feel free to use any other key. Last but not least, we have to check if current one-way platform is not null and then start our previously created coroutine. Save everything and go back to Unity. We're almost done, but there are still two more things we need to do. First, Drag the player's collider onto the player collider reference in our script. And second, select the one-way platform, add a new tag called one-way platform and assign it afterwards. If we hit play now, we should be able to jump through the platform from below and above. Very good! I want to point out that I'm still a beginner when it comes to game development and there are always multiple and probably better ways to do what I just showed you. But if this solution works for you as well as it does for me, please consider subscribing and leave a like. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.